Hey, welcome to Buildit. This week we're going to be building a motorized sliding door lock that can be controlled from your phone or pretty much any other Bluetooth device. The way it works is we'll have a servo connected to a sliding lock and that servo will be controlled by a microcontroller which is connected to a Bluetooth module. And the Bluetooth module will receive code from the phone. So when the phone sends the code, the microcontroller will tell the servo to turn and lock the door or on and off the door. Now for the parts. The main brain behind this is the Arduino Nano accompanied by the HCO5 Bluetooth module and the Tower Pro 9 gram servo. You're also going to need an Android or Windows device with Bluetooth to control the door using a special app. Now the absolute first thing we have to do is make sure that our servo is strong enough to move our sliding lock. What I did is I glued my servo onto my sliding lock and used Arduino's sweep code which you can find in the example section of the Arduino IDE. If your servo is strong enough it should move fine, if not try spraying some Q20 on it or any other kind of lubricant. If it still doesn't move you're going to have to get a stronger servo. Now let's move on to the wiring. VCC and ground on the Bluetooth module connects to 3.3 volts and ground on the Arduino. Then TX connects to RX and RX connects to TX. But don't solder these down yet because while these connections are made, code cannot be uploaded to the Arduino. Now let's move on to the servo. VCC and ground get connected to 5 volt and ground on the Arduino and the servo's source pin gets connected to pin 9 on the Arduino. Once again, don't solder them down until you've uploaded your code. Now let's actually look at uploading the code. So first off, we're going to go to the video description and click on the link. Then I'll take you to my instructables page where you can find the code. Copy and paste the code into the Arduino IDE and select the right board on the right port. If you're using the same board as me, you should click Arduino Nano and 18Mega328. Next, you can click Upload. Let's take a look at the code and see what it does. This declares that the servo is attached to pin 9. This starts the serial so we can see messages about the lock status. Now down here we're saying if the command value 0 is sent through serial, it will move the servo to position 8 and then send the message door locked. And then down here we are saying if one is sent it moves the servo to position 63 and sends a message door unlocked. So essentially 0 and 1 is a password for unlocking and locking a door. Luckily you can change these values to whatever you want. I highly recommend you change them from 0 and 1 because if you don't your door is going to be pretty easy to hack into. Now let's start working with the hardware. We're going to need the sliding lock kit as well as a 2mm drill bit, a drill bit that fixes your screws and the drill of course. And lastly, we're going to need a 5 volt power supply, some wire, and a USB mini connector for the Arduino Nano. Now that we've got all that, we can start by cutting off the little notches on the servo so it can sit flush on the lock. Now, I didn't mention this before, but you need to pull the handle off the lock so the servo arm can fit into the little hole. Now, making the case is pretty basic. All we have to do is make a small cardboard box that the Arduino Micro and the Bluetooth module can fit into. Next, we need to glue the servo to the lock and fit the servo arm into the little hole. Once that's done, you can mount your lock on your door and give it a test. Lastly, I have to know two things. This project is extremely hackable, which is a good and a bad thing. The bad way is that anyone can get through your door, so please do not use this on any kind of security door or as a security lock. Only use it on your bedroom door to keep meddling siblings or friends out. Secondly, please never lock yourself inside your room using this device. And lastly, if for some reason the Bluetooth won't connect or your phone dies, the easiest way to unlock your door without having to tear it down is to simply go to your main switchboard of your house and turn off the power to your room and turn it back on again. The code states that as soon as the system is reset, it goes back to position zero, which is unlocked. Quick channel announcement, I'm gonna be away for two weeks on a school trip, which means I won't be able to make a video until I get back. For those of you who wanna follow my projects, you can follow me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe or check out my other videos and I'll see you guys when I get back.